so you want to be better against the zone. Well, here's how. One, play more in transition. Two, make more shots. Three, don't change what you do. If you try to do two different things on offense, one for man and one for zone, you'll be half as good at both. If you're wondering how you can shift your offense for a zone, here's how. Whether playing against man-to-man -man or zone, you want to use the same principles of play. You have one offense and it doesn't change. The only thing that changes would be what actions you might run to get those advantages. They might be different actions based on opponent, matchups, strengths and weaknesses, alignment, man, zone, one through one, pressure, no pressure. It's just actions, but the principles of play stay the exact same. Here's two of my favorite zone actions that will guarantee you continue to get advantages even against a zone. So the two primary ones are dance and dive, flank and burn. And this is out of our four out, one in alignment again. So five steps on each one. Uh, we still want to play with our same principles. And so whether it come off of a pass or initial transition or a dribble at or whatever, the ball is going to be here on our left attack spot. And we're going to have our porch player opposite porch. If we ever find ourselves uh, with no advantage, no hunt available for the ball. Ball um, opposite our porch player, we go into our dance and dive action. Now we call this a dance instead of a flash is because we're not gonna stay there in the high post. We wanna keep the middle open. Remember space is about getting space away from your defender. Uh, but when we play really wide like this, there's gonna be space here in the middle of the floor. So we dance in, a dance is an in and an out as opposed to a flash and stay. We dance into the middle. If we can get the ball into the world that way off the dance we want to, remember, we wanna put a playmaker, a three read player in here, like our dragon ideally, who's gonna be a bigger player, you'll see over the defense. I like to put our dragon in this porch spot if we do see a lot of zone. So they're dancing, we're looking for it. Um, remember, we wanna make sure that we stay locked deep in the corner on the ball side so that we force this defender to make a decision. They're staying with our lock in the corner because they're dangerous to shoot it, or they've got to come and contest this dance. Either way, we should have a pass to one of these two. So we stay locked in the corner. Um, first, if we can't hit someone on a dance, then our corner person will shape up. They will shape up to the basketball. That'll be the second thing. Um, if they do shape up to the basketball and we don't have this open, this dance open in the middle, we're gonna pass the ball to what's now probably gonna be around the wing area on a shape up. And so right from the dance, we turn into a ghost and dive. Ghost, again, is a primary action that we would use uh, against our man as well. We'll be able to do some of the same stuff against a man in a zone. But on this ghost now, we're not ghosting to the three-point line. We're gonna ghost and spin space out and find space somewhere near the porch area here. Um, that's then going to be our dive. Of course, if the rim's open, we'll always take open space at the rim, but more likely the space is going to be at the porch. So dance and dive. We could, of course, hunt off this. If there's confusion, we're always looking to hunt the world, but if not, we're going to actually just maybe get the ball now to the space on the porch. One thing that they can do is drag foot for space is whoever's just diving to the, down to the porch there, they want to keep their chest to the ball and the foot that's closest to the rim, they actually want to drag out as they get to space so that then they can use that as their we pivot foot uh, to look for the space. That's what dance and dive is. We can get dance and dive on both sides of the floor. If we don't hit the dive there, we just click, click it around. And if we don't have an advantage on that click, click, we get to dance and dive again. So dance and dive can be its own action to create advantage catches, to create hunts, and to create nines and sevens. Well, an additional action, that it would be a next thing to layer in once we understand dance and dive would be our flank and burn. Uh, flank is a way that you attack around the outside of an opponent. Um, you don't go a full frontal attack direct, right? We actually wanna flank around the outside and that's how we actually choose to get the ball to the porch um, after they've spaced out to the porch. So this would be after a dance and dive. Let's say then that we pass the ball out to the flank and the flank can go all the way out to the corner, especially if you have a shooter in the dragon, they might be able to dive and then space out to the corner for a really nice seven um, off this catch. That's a great action. But let's say that, you know, it's not a seven on the catch. So then we go into a flank. Let's get it to them, you know, maybe uh, in a more dangerous position. Once they've spaced to the porch, they want to make a wee pivot. A wee pivot is one where the butt is to the baseline, the chest is to the majority of the floor, the pivot foot 
is the foot closest to the rim, ball goes to the outside shoulder, and you make a little weave short front pivot to see all of us. This is we, I'm seeing the entire team. We would then pass, inevitably against the zone, uh, this on-ball defender would turn to the ball, so we would then burn behind, burn the back of the head, and make a burn cut on that Wii pivot. This is an example of the burn cut, finding space right here. On that burn cut, we're looking for space first, rim second, just like we are on our hunts of the world. Space first, rim second, we want easy passes, we want to flow like water. Then around the rim, we'd blast to space. We'd blast down to open space. Of course, that burn cut's going to collapse the deep. Defense. We might be blasting into a seven. We blast to space, blast to space, and then whoever the burn cut is, if they don't get that basketball, with an exit cut, which is in our principles of play as well. You can dance, dive, flank, burn alone together. They are zone actions, but the goal is just to create advantage catches, create nines and sevens, create world hunts so that we can play with pace. And these are our actions against a zone. These are the primary actions. All right, coach, if you like this and you want more like this, you can always head to raceandspace.com and get the entire offensive course yours on demand. Otherwise, make sure you like the video, subscribe down below. I'm gonna be dropping more videos like this weekly. I'm Tyler, this is Savvy, and I'm here to help.